The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Carrie Strauss here with realagriculture.com. I am here today with another Canola School episode and I have here with me Rong Rong Sean, who is a technical service specialist with BSF. How's it going today? Oh, pretty good yourself. I'm doing great. So we are here to talk about weed scouting. And before you get into the field with a drill scouting, do you want to tell me a bit about what you're going to want to be looking out for? Yeah, for sure. So like you said, scouting is very important, right? So we would always encourage our growers to go out to all of their fields to know what is going on, what is in there, what kind of weeds they're dealing with, and also the weed pressure, weed stage, and also the size of the weeds. But also it is important to know the field history too, right? So you want to know if you got any herbicide resistant weeds or if you see any reduced efficacy on certain weeds as well. So that's all good information to help making decisions prior to canola seeding. So how, how competitive is canola actually in its early stages? Like why, why do you want to make sure you're keeping that clean? Yeah, so canola when it's at the early stage, so between collagen to up to 40 stage, quite the opposite, it's not competitive at all like it's pretty vulnerable to all the external stress right so you know when there's weeds that showed up early ahead of the emergence of canola and that's really like the canola doesn't have any defense mechanism to really fight for resource moisture and nutrients so that's why you really wanted to clean clean up your field before canola seeding okay and why is IDing the type of weeds important yeah for sure so you know IDing weeds really just helps you to understand what kind of the target weeds you're dealing here but also understanding that not all the herbicide has the same weed spectrum and and also not work the same as well right so you really wanted to have your pre-seed herbicide um, in addition to glyphosate to target that tough weeds but also having glyphosate there to run up the weed spectrum so and then for the weeds itself right like not all the weeds respond to herbicide the same either so when you're looking at pre or not pre perennial weeds and also annual weeds but also you know um, broadleaf weeds and grass weeds are not having the same responses to herbicides so I, I mean we're looking at drought across the prairies right now and uh, there's a lot of lack of moisture in there why is it even more important that we're paying attention to what weeds are out there when they could be competing for moisture yeah exactly so you know there's some key weeds like you would never expect them to pop up especially in a dry spring but um one example i can think of is kosher right like it is the first thing that usually shows up in the field uh before anything else so you really want to know your what kind of weeds is in the field and then so you can remove or minimize the weed pressure, reserve that moisture for your crop. So what are some of the most common weeds you're seeing? First tell us, I guess, where your territory is and then what are some of the common weeds you're really seeing? Yeah, for sure. So I'm covering uh, southern Alberta region. So go down to Pincher Creek and then up north to Oats. So, you know, the first weeds that I can think of, especially um, in dark brown soil zone, will be kochia. It is a very tough weeds just because, you know, it is the first thing that shows up in the field normally. And also it is herbicide resistance. So that really limits the herbicide op uh, options to control this weed. Um, so when you're going up north, and now we're dealing with cleavers and wild oats, and those weeds have a different plant ar architecture, and that's going to kind of change your herbicide decision a little bit again. If you're in an area that has tight rotations and they're dealing with volunteer canola coming back up, what are some of your recommendations with that? How do we tackle volunteer canola? Yeah, when it comes to volunteer canola management, we recommend a layering approach called advanced weed control. So the name really speaks for itself, right? What it is is you go in with the pre-seed herbicide in addition to glyphosate. So that really leverages the multiple modes of action to target not just the challenging weeds, but also run up the weed spectrum. And then later follow up with the in-crop herbicide application to remove that weed competition for good. Okay, and what else are you going to be looking for when you are coming into the field and you're, you're scouting those initial weeds? Yeah, 
so you know keep monitoring um, if there's any wind flashes coming in later but also you want to keep your eye on any flea beetle pressure right so if you got canola or volunteer canola you gotta look for that feeding damage that's gonna give you an idea if you got any flea beetle pressure later on and if you need to go in with a folder insecticide okay any other messages you would like to send to producers Yes, so first I wanted to wish everyone a very successful 2022 season and then uh, we have very strong lineup of innovative products at BSF but we also got an excellent team of great people so you know feel free to reach out to any of the BSF staff if you have any questions also stay tuned to 2022 Canola Plot Tour this summer. <laughs>